So this is how you change region on your 3DS. First things first, it has to be modded. If it isn't modded, then there are two links that are pinned in the comments. Uh, one is for the old 3DS line and one is for the new 3DS line. So you just follow that and it will be modded. And some quick notes are if you change region on it, the eShop will not work properly. I'm not sure if it will work at all. Apps like Pokemon Bank will not work or I think they won't. You might have to bypass some things. Nintendo ID, there might be some issues. Just note that. So yeah, if you want to use those apps, then I do not recommend that you do this. Unless it's a Japanese console because it's pretty hard to use a Japanese console. And it's probably better to just CRT transfer and change region. So once you know everything about everything, you're going to turn it off. And then you're going to go down in the link in the description. Okay. There you will find this website. You'll be here. And there are some files. First things first, you're going to download fake tick, the 3DS X file. Boom. And then you're going to download this. Or just press on it and it will automatically download. That's done. And now you're here. Here are a lot of files. So how do you know which one you will choose? Basically, if you have a new 3DS, you will follow these. If you have an old 3DS, then you will choose one of these. So yeah, I have an old 3DS or I have an old 3DS XL. So I'll follow this. If you don't know what 3DS you have, I have a video for that too, that I uploaded like three, three days ago now. So yeah, I will follow these. I want to change my region from USA to Europe. So I'm going to choose that one because it's Europe. It's the European file. Uh, if you want to change to USA or something like that, for example, from Japan to USA, then you just download the USA one not the Japanese one. If you have a 3DS that you want to change to Japanese, then you download the Japanese file. You follow me? So I am on USA right now. This 3DS is on the region USA, but I want to be on Europe. So I'm going to press on Europe because I want it to be Europe. And it's an old one. So I'm going to download that. And now what you're going to do is take the fake tick dot 3DSX that you just downloaded and put it on 3DS, the folder 3DS inside of your SD card. Place the file on the destination because I just put it there. Yes, and then you are going to find the two files or the file that you downloaded here. You're going to find that one that you just downloaded. These, I have already downloaded them. So I'm just gonna take these and put them on the root of my SD card. Yeah, I have also already transferred those, so I'm just going to skip them. And yeah, that is done. Now you're just going to take out the Z card once again. Plug it into your 3DS. Now you're going to press start and power. Boom. And you're probably going to load into God Mode 9 automatically boom you're gonna be here so press a a a then you go into sd card just press a again and then you're going to go down and find this file which is the 11.15.0-47e crt transfer la di da di da 757 i'm gonna press a on that i'm gonna press a on that then CRT NAND options, transfer image to CRT NAND. Then press A again, and then you just follow the instructions on the screen. They are not gonna be the same for you, most likely. A, and it's going to start doing that. It will basically override your 3DS system, so you will lose everything. Not sure if I said that in the start of the video, but now it's too late. That's how you do that. Now, just wait this out and I'll be right back. That's done. Boom, that's done. Now you're going to press A and B, 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 and then you're going to go into SysNand, CRT NAND, press A on that. Data, A, 
sysdata, and you're going to go down to this file. Uh, one that ends with 17, you're going to press X and delete it. Then you're going to press start. Hopefully I didn't just break it. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. If I did, this wouldn't be a tutorial, don't worry. It's just been a while since I uh, did this. So, boom, everything is as it should. Now your 3DS has technically been reset, but it, yeah, I mean, it's, it has been flashed with another system. It has been flashed with a European firmware, I guess we could say. Because I chose European, right? Just gonna do today's date because I'm doing this for a customer. Boom, boom. Uh, just gonna choose Norway here. I'm gonna go through that. You're not done yet, don't worry. Don't skip this or you will have some problems. Because you are still missing some things. Boom. Should I set it? Yeah, you need to set it because you need to also update your 3DS. It's at 11.15 now, so you downgraded. If you are on a newer version, of, co of course. <clears throat> Boom. There we go. Drinking my monster. Mango, mango loco. It's just awesome. Not sponsored yet. Boom. Okay. Finish. Exit. Next. Do not set. And home. Come on, buddy. And now you're just gonna go into settings to make sure that you're on the region you want it to be. Just to make, make sure, make sure, to just make, make sure. If you're not on the region you want it to be, then you messed up, buddy. Cancel that, not yet. Then you messed up, buddy. I guess you just have to try again with another version. Yeah, European, as you can see there. 11.15.0-47. It has been flashed with a new with a new system, I guess. Then what you're gonna do, turn it off, and we're gonna go back to the PC. Alrighty. So then you're going to go down in the second link in the description, and you're going to download this. And it's going to take a second, then you're going to take out the SD card out of your 3DS and plug it back into your PC. Boom. CRT transfer files, that's downloaded. And re-plug in the SD card. Boom. Now, from the files you downloaded, you're going to take, first of all, this one, TVL fix. This is going to fix fix uh, th uh, DS games for you. We're going to transfer that over to 3DS. And that's done. Now you go and take this file, which is called CIA, and you're going to transfer it over here. If you don't already have it. If you already have the CIA or CIA's folder... You're just gonna open this and transfer all these folders over to, or all these files over to the CIS folder. So, but this one doesn't have that already. So I'm just gonna transfer the entire thing. Boom, eject the SD card. Out. And you are almost done. Boom, plug that in. Now, 
turn on your, your 3DS. Monster. Boom. You're go, gonna go into download play, and then you're going to press pre down, select, and left. I'm gonna go down to miscellaneous options, press A on that, press A again, operation succeeded, press B, 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 home, and then home, and then Okay, I think it just crashed for a second. Press X. Probably did it too fast. A, you know, 3DSs, you know, old consoles. You're gonna boot here. Uh, oh my God, yeah, there are a lot of files here. What you're gonna do is go to FBI. Press A on SD. Then you're gonna go down to CIA or CIAs, whatever you had it as, press A on that, and on current directory, you're gonna press install and delete all CIAs. And press A again. Let this load, this is gonna be really fast. This is gonna download Checkpoint, Homebrew, FBI, what else? I still go what else it downloads. Yeah, Homebrew. Universal Updater, this is what you use if you want to download DS games or something like that. I'll throw up some links in the end if you want to do that. I'm gonna press home again, X, and then you have all these files that you just downloaded. Then you're gonna launch Homebrew, which is one of the apps you downloaded. Then you're going to press select L and down, miscellaneous options, switch the HB, press BBB, home, X, and go into it again. And you're here. Now you just go all the way down and you're going to fix your DS games right now. TVL fix, press A, let that do its thing and press start. If your system crashes here, it's all good. Just exit out. It doesn't matter. If it crashes, it's fine. I have seen it crash on the new 3DSs, but it's basically because you uninstalled like the cart thingy. And now what you're gonna do is update it, which will re-download it and make everything work. So, boom. Press other settings and you're going to update the system. You need to have internet for this. System update, okay. This will not break your console if you have the newest Luma 3DS and everything installed, which you hopefully have. And boom, updating. So wait for this. And boom, it's updated. So, you have a homebrew FBI, all those apps, and you have changed region to, or I have changed to Europe. That's it. DS games will now work. You can also double check that everything works. Of course, uh, eShop, there will be some problems, as I already said. But yeah, that's it. Thank us for watching. If you want to see how to install DS games, I'll throw that up here. How to install 3DS games or to, how to install 3DS games on your modded 3DS. I'll throw that up here. And how to play Game Boy games on your modded 3DS. I'll throw that up here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.